We're just going to start off by going to the website and getting JUnit and then starting up Eclipse and getting it working in Eclipse. So to start off, we're just going to go to JUnit.org which is the JUnit homepage. So as I said the other day, the whole unit testing idea, it, there's a different libraries available for different languages but in our case we're using JUnit so the Java unit testing so up here we're gonna go to download JUnit and this will bring us to a github repository so you can see up the very top in the URL you can see the name Kent Beck so he's one of the pioneers of unit testing so when we go through this list you can see that there's loads of different packages that are actually available and the one that we actually want is this one down here called JUnit 410.jar the basic jar and you can see that it has 65,000 downloads so that's the one we're gonna go for so after you download that pull it onto your desktop and just leave it there so you can see in the bottom left hand side there that we have the 410 and that's the one that we're looking for Next, we're going to start up Eclipse and get it running. So there is a few additional steps that we have to do in Eclipse to get this jar file working with our code. But the thing you have to remember is that the actual .jar file isn't like the ones we've been working with. We've always created executable jar files that actually run, where this one is actually just a whole bunch of code inside a jar file, so it doesn't actually run. It'll only work with our code. Eclipse is just taking its time getting started. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start off with a, a new project and then link it in. So in this case, I've made a project already called testing example so to make a new Java project you can go up here and click on new and that will open up this lovely little dialogue that we've used before to make a new Java project so there's nothing out of the ordinary there now after that what we have to do is we have to actually link the jar file into our project and what this is allowing us to do is actually see the jar file from our code so our code will be able to use it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our project here and we're going to right click and then we're going to go down to properties so once this little menu has popped up you'll see a few extra little bits down here on the left and what we're going to do is go into this one here the java build path and under libraries we're going to go add external jar here on the right hand side so make sure you get that one right, add external jar and then we're just going to go to our desktop find out where we left our jar and then press open and that will add the jar file into our project like this so when you're finished with that it is now linked in the next thing we have to do is make a new project in a class file so in this case I just made one called myprogram.java and there's a little bit going on here so I'm just going to take a second to tell you what's actually happening so the first thing I've done is up the very very top here you can see I said import static org.junit.assert.all so I'm just adding that in and what we're actually going to do here is we're going to create a method that we're going to test so in this case I made a method called public double how much vat and the purpose of this method is literally just to take in an amount 
and calculate how much VAT is due and then send us back the answer. So this is actually the method that we're going to test to see that when we give it a certain figure is the result back the one we wanted. So to test this I've made another method here called public void my test method but the first thing you'll notice is above it here I have at test added at the top and this is the extra syntax just to say that this is actually a test method that's that's going to run a test and inside that you can see I have I'm calling the assert equals test and then I'm saying 46.0 is the answer that we expect to get back and then here I'm calling the method how much VAT you can see it highlighting there I'm passing it 200 and then there's a little guy here called the delta that we don't need to worry about so I just left that as 0, 0.0 so the main two is this guy here which is the expected result that we expect to get and then this one here that's actually calling our method and we're passing it 200 so all going well this should send us back 46 46 does equal 46 and then this test will pass so if we want to actually run this test what we have to do is go down to my program here in our project and we're going to right click and we're going to go to run as but this time instead of going to java application we're actually going to say junit test and this is actually going to run our code as a junit test so up here then you'll see that this extra little menu is opened and you can see it says that runs one of one, zero errors, zero failures and we have a nice green bar to indicate that the test passed so everything was okay if we change this number to something different like 50 or anything else then the number we get back from our method won't be equal to what we have here and then this test will actually fail so I'm going to leave that up to you to have a go at and that's all for getting started with JUnit